NFL football picks week 11 because you know I'm good for them. So let's get started. Still haven't got a fucking haircut. I need to get around to it, people. I need to get around to it. I just haven't had time. My radiator cracked yesterday. Good old South Dakota cold weather. That's what happens. Especially when they're old, too. Yeah, whatever. Tonight's game, Miami Dolphins at home getting a four and a half point favorite over the visiting Buffalo Bills. Now, I don't know how to judge this one. Because both of them have good defenses. Um, Miami Dolphins playing pretty damn good ball lately. After they came off to a loss to Detroit, though. I like Miami at home. Miami's at home. Take Miami. Why not? Cleveland Browns at home getting three points against the Houston Texans. I like the Cleveland Browns. They have made me a believer. Um, so at 6-3. And three, and uh, Houston Texans are just not that good. I never did think they were good in the first place. So take the Browns at home. Atlanta Falcons on the road getting one point at Carolina. Who gives a flying fuck? Take Atlanta Falcons. The Carolina Panthers are terrible. And so is Atlanta. That's why I'm saying who gives a fuck. Chicago at home getting three points against the Minnesota Vikings in another game. Who gives a fuck? But take the Bears at home. Because the Vikings, Vikings ain't actually that bad. They're not bad, but they're not good by any means necessary. Take the Bears at home. Jay Cutler sucks, but take the Bears at home. New Orleans Saints at home getting seven points against Andy Scrub Dalton and that piss-poor, pathetic Bengals team. Guess what? If Andy Dalton's starting, you can give the Saints 30 fucking points. We're not going to fucking win. Cincinnati has no fucking chance to win with Andy Fulton at fucking quarterback. He sucks. I'm done with Andy Dalton. And I'm not even going to watch this game. I'm going to be true to my word. That's one thing I am going to do. Because Andy Dalton and the Bengals suck. So New Orleans Saints will kill this team. If Andy Dalton is starting. If A.J. McCarron is starting, it might be a game. Hell, that matter, even Jason Campbell. But if, a, if, if Andy Dalton is starting, he will throw three interceptions, and the New Orleans Saints will route the Bengals 42-10. to 10. You heard it here. 42-10. to 10. Bengals are going to get stopped. Fucking tired of that team with Marvin Lewis and fucking Mike Brown. and ah! So the Saints, outright, obviously. That's a no-brainer. Denver on the road getting nine half points at St. Louis. I like Denver, even though, even though the Rams are not that bad. They really ain't. They've made the switch to Sean Hill um, because Austin Davis really ain't that good. But Sean Hill ain't no long-term answer either. So it's over for the Rams. It was over for the Rams this season before it even started. Once Sam Bradford went down. Oh, by the way, I don't believe I don't believe in Sam Bradford either. So Denver will win that game outright. Uh, Kansas City at home is a two-point favorite. Does it surprise anybody that Kansas City is a two-point favorite over the Seattle Seahawks? All these fucking people cry. <laughs> Seattle sucks on the road, especially. Seattle sucks this year, period. So, the Chiefs outright. It's the way it is, people. It's the way it is. Kansas City will win that game outright. Uh, San Francisco 49ers on the road, getting four points at the New York Giants. I like the San Francisco 49ers. I believe they've gotten their spark back. The New York Giants are fucking up, down, up, down, up, down. I don't know how to judge them. So take the 49ers. Washington Redskins at home getting seven points against Tampa Bay. Who gives a fuck about these shitty-ass games? Take Washington at home. Who cares? I don't even care about that game. San Diego getting ten points at home against the winless Oakland Raiders. Guess what? I could see San Diego actually losing this game, to tell you the truth. The rivals, number one. That's why. Everybody goes, oh, they're going to lose to a fucking 0 9 team. They're rivals. You throw out the records when a, they're rivals. And San Diego has sucked the last fucking three weeks. So I like the Raiders with the points. I believe San Diego will win this game outright. They should. But I like the Raiders with the 10 points all day long. So that's the way it is. Game of the week right here, in my opinion. I really don't see another good game this week. Arizona at home without Carson Palmer, though. It's a one-and-a-half point favorite still over the Detroit Lions. Now, Drew Stanton ain't bad. I got to say, I've seen him play a couple times this year, and he ain't bad. Um, Carson Palmer's old. That, oh, what's wrong, Palmer? That ACL fucking catching back up to you again? He was fucked when he did that in Cincinnati. And I will say, look, I... I, I got to give Palmer his due. He's doing good, or was doing good up till this point. So, now, as far as the game goes, I'm taking Detroit. 
Detroit is the real fucking deal. Detroit is not fucking around this year. You can see that clearly, but neither is Arizona. Both of these teams were the worst teams in the league at one point. But Detroit is not fucking around. Take Detroit on the road, especially without Carson Palmer. Even though Drew Stanton, it, it wouldn't surprise me if Drew Stanton won this game. It really wouldn't. But I like Detroit. Green Bay at home getting six points against the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm taking Green Bay, but I'm telling you something right now. Mark Sanchez is not playing bad. He is not playing bad for the Eagles right now. Um, but I like Green Bay at home. Monday night or Sunday night football rather is Indianapolis at home. Getting three points against the New England Patriots. I like the Indianapolis Colts at home, to tell you the truth. A team that will show up in prime time, right? A team that will show up in prime time is going to be the Indianapolis Colts, so I like Indianapolis. I mean, I know uh, New England with Tom Brady, I understand this, but you know what? I like the Colts at home. And finally, Pittsburgh is on the road, a six-point favorite at Tennessee. You know what? After seeing the Steelers last week, I think they got slapped back in reality. I don't think they're really that good. But Roethlisberger, I want to take the Steelers, but fuck, I took the Steelers to win hands down against the Jets, and they lost. But I think the Steelers will recover. They won't lose to two bad teams in a row. Take the Steelers with points to win the game outright. And there's your picks, people. And, yes, the Bengals suck.